In this video, I'm going to attempt to explain to you in a very easy to understand matter, the if function in Google Sheets. So take a look at this situation here. What this is, is sponsorship money that's coming in from these companies. And in this column here, I want to specify if it's a valuable relationship or not a valuable relationship based on how much sponsorship money I'm receiving. I'm going to have a hard cutoff at $25,000. So what I want to do in this column is if this sponsorship value is less than or equal to $25,000, I'm going to say not valuable. And if the sponsorship money is greater than $25,000, I'm going to say valuable. And then I'll know who to schmooze to and who to not schmooze to in the new year. So rather than just fill all of this in, imagine if I had 500 entries here, I can easily do it with a logical if statement. This is the if function in Google Sheets. There are two ways to access it. One, you can simply write equals if, and then you'll see that right here it appears, where it says returns value depending on logical expression. Another way to access it is to go to insert, then hover over function, and you're going to see every single function that you could possibly want and need, and they're set up in alphabetical order, so you could find them here. We're just going to do the shortcut way of equals if, and then we're going to select it right here. Now this question mark, if we select it, we're going to see a lot of explanations as far as how to use an if function. It says first you need a logical expression, then you need value if true and value if false. Now one thing to remember very simply, the if function is just used to make decisions based on certain conditions. It works like simple if then statements. So here's a basic structure of how it works. If this cell right here is less than or equal to $25,000, then I'm going to have it type out not valuable. However, if it's greater than $25,000, I'm going to have it type out valuable. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the first thing we're going to do is input the logical expression. So I'm going to select this cell and then I'm going to select less than or equal to 25,000. Now make sure you're not typing out 25,000 with a comma because remember you're separating these statements with a comma. So now it's going to think that 000 is part of the value if true statement. So you have to watch out for that. Don't use commas when you're doing numbers. Just type them out without the commas. So now you see I typed in D17 less than or equal to 25,000. And over here, you can see that that's actually a false statement. It's actually telling me right here. Google Sheets is so helpful. It's telling us it's false. So now that it's false, what are we going to put as the true statement? So this is true. So what do we want to put here? We're in quotation marks. We're going to write not valuable. Then we're going to put a comma. And now if it's false, which means it's going to be greater than $25,000, we're going to put valuable. Please remember to close it with a parenthesis. So again, if you're brand new to this stuff, the logical expression, all that is, is this is what you want to test. So if the condition is true, the function will return one result. If it's false, it will return another result. The value if true part right here, this is just the value the function returns if this is true, and then the value it returns if it's false. We have to specify what it is, and that's what we're doing right here. Not valuable and valuable. Don't forget to close the parentheses and open the parentheses, obviously. Follow this right here, and then we're ready to hit enter. And now you see that it says valuable because it's greater than $25,000. So now what I can do is click this fill handle right here and simply drag it down as far as I need to, and then it's going to fill this equation for the rest of them. And by the way, we're used to dragging down, but please remember that you can also drag that fill handle all the way up and it's going to do the same thing. So just because it's at the bottom doesn't mean it only goes down. It goes up as well. And here you'll see that for every single number that's less than or equal to $25,000 in column D, 
column G will say that it is not valuable. And if it's greater than $25,000, it's going to say valuable. Now let's not end there. Let me show you a little bit more of an advanced example that you won't see in another tutorial. Now let's say I want to make a rule that if this sponsorship amount is less than $25,000, I'm going to give a referral bonus of 10%. And if it is more than $25,000, I'm going to give a referral bonus of 15%. I can also accomplish that with an if function easily in Google Sheets. Let me show you how. We are again going to summon the if function by doing equals if, and then we simply click on it. And here I'll state the same thing. So I'll select D2 right here, less than or equal to. 25,000. Remember, don't put a comma after 25 and then 000. It's going to think that you're now working with the true value here. So now, if this number is below or equal to $25,000, I want to give a 10% referral bonus. So, how is that going to look? Well, if it's less than or equal to 25,000, I'm going to take this number right here and I'm going to multiply it by 10%, and if this statement is false, which means the number under sponsorship is greater than $25,000, I am going to give a referral bonus of 15%. So I will select this cell here, multiplied by 15% or 0.15, closed parentheses. Now all I do is hit enter, and you see that it gave me a figure of $18,000. It's also smart enough to offer me an autofill. Again, this is that AI feature that we were talking about, that it's always scanning and there's smart fill features here. And it kicked in. I actually want to do that. So I will check it. And now we see right here that it specified exactly how much I should pay for each one of these sponsorships to the third party that helped me achieve it. This is amazing. This saves so much time. Rather than you sitting there with a calculator trying to figure it all out. Speaking of calculator, let's just make sure that we're correct. So in this situation, it was $120,000, which means that it's greater than $25,000, so it's 15%. So let's go ahead and see if $18,000 is in fact the referral bonus that I'm supposed to give. So I would type in $120,000 multiplied by 0.15, which is 15%. And we see that it is in fact $18,000. And just to double check if it's below, let's use this example here. So this cell right here, this was Best Buy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that figure, 12789 and we're going to multiply it by 10%. And you see that we in fact get $1,278.90. Obviously, I had it round up because I'm not going to disrespect my clients by giving them pennies. But if you do want to see those decimal places, all you have to do is select the column, and then right here, you can increase the decimal spaces, and then you will see that figure. Some people love to do this just because they like seeing more zeros in whatever sheet they're working with. I'm not weird like that. I like to keep it clean so I don't include pennies. So that right there is everything you need to know about the if function. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like, comment, subscribe, because I'm going to cover in future videos the if statement. We're going to do nested if. We're going to do a lot more complicated functions. Thank you for suffering through this video. I hope you learned something today. Let's talk about it in the comment section, and I will see all of you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.